This is Ouch My Wallet, hosted by Robert Simmons, a production of the TF Talk Network. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Ouch My Wallet for May 13th, 2020. I am your host, Rob Simmons, and with me today we have Monsieur Jack. Hola. We have Monsieur Christian. What's up? And I don't know what the equivalent pseudo terribly French word is for <laughs> Mrs. Anna. I'm some sort of mademoiselle, I suppose. Something mademoiselle, like that. that's it, yeah. Anna's here, hi. I, sh- I should know that from Beauty and the Beast or something, right? <laughs> sure, or like French class 40 years ago. <laughs> I know. They didn't offer French at my school. We were good to get Spanish, and pretty sure that's just because they had to teach something. According to what I just said, I took it before I was born, so that's, that's <laughs> really skillful. That's, that's slick. I guess you just didn't take math. Perhaps <laughs> it was. That's right. I didn't take math or time-space continuum class. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so uh, if you don't know what this show is, it's part of the TF Talk Network where we um, just talk about crap we've bought recently. We'll each uh, yeah. pick an item, or if it's a small group of related items, do that, you know, talk about it or whatever, and just kind of go round robin, uh, taking turns and talking about toys. And I wasn't able mm. to be on the show last week. I had something come up. So I am overloaded with stuff, and because I want to, I'm going to go first. So, <laughs> wow. Look at you. Yeah, I like see that. how it is. Yeah, Take it over. Assertive. I'm keen of this show. I do what I want. I see how it is. That is 100% correct. <laughs> As I try to update the thumbnail with my first figure today, which is Fans Toys Sheridan. Does AKA, he have nice. AKA uh, Masterpiece Warpath. Look at that. He's got nice. two legs. Good for you. So I'll have two legs. Isn't, isn't there some like, breakage? Off. No, like... What that's about is here in the back, like my camera's not high def enough for it. There's a little tab you got to fold out. And if you fold out that tab, the knee joint works fine. Like, it's per the transformation. People aren't folding out that tab, and they're breaking it. Oh, well, then people are being dumb. Don't be dumb with your toys. I I mean, (laughs) when I was first fiddling with it, because, you know, as I've mentioned before, I try not to use instructions with things. It's part of the puzzle. It's the fun for me. Um, I did eventually cave and have to, like... Look at the instructions at one point. I just I had no idea how to get it started at or how to get past a, a step pretty early, um, and I mean like I that was one of them. I didn't realize that was a thing either. But I didn't keep trying to force it. I was like something's not going here, and I was like oh, wait, there's a little screw there, and finally I realized he does that for you know those leap dance moves for electric boogaloo, um, but yeah, it's better than their movie toys. That's for sure. Uh, the transformation is pretty involved anna would hate it christian would hate it i don't know how jack would feel about it <laughs> i wouldn't mind um, i like a puzzle okay it's not as bad as their uh jabber you know aka their blur that i love to throw under the bus as much as possible um the he only comes the only accessory he comes with is the mask the alien mask from uh, i assume that's hoist goes to hollywood uh-huh. uh, but i haven't watched them in so long but you know like who else has it? like tracks and Hoist, obviously, or maybe it's Hoist the Star. Maybe he doesn't get the mask. Did Sunstreaker come one? Sunstreaker came with one. Yeah, he he does. It's one of those. At this point, I feel like I've gotten eight of those masks. (laughs) You know, so there's another one. But he doesn't have any other any other accessories, which is a little disappointing. Like he has no handgun, and I get he doesn't really have one. Or I would have loved a cartoon effect that you could plug into there that said like "Boom Kapow." Yeah. Like, that would be really silly and awesome for Warpath. Um, Great. That aside, the only thing, uh, like, in robot mode that I think is a little weak is how the arms look, or the rather the shoulder area. Like, it works well, and you can make it goofy like the G1 toy by rotating it down and having them sit lower, if that's your bag. Um, that part doesn't look great. The rest of it, I think, looks pretty good, though. Um, and there are, I haven't noticed any reviewers talk about it, but mine definitely has some paint chips, like, out of the box. Um, they're pretty minor, and due to just how the toy is made, 
they don't stand out, but like when I'm ha have it in hand and you're fiddling, it's like, oh, well, there's some rub back here. And, like there's some like little chips along the back there or something. And there's a couple other like in the feet or something. I can't, I can't remember where they are. But like you can definitely spot them like around the knees. There's a few little ones, which usually fans toys is pretty good about the chipping, except for when they're not. Um, and so I don't know if this is just me, but no one else has mentioned all the chipping, but, um, I know it's by far the best, uh, masterpiece warpath given the only other option is bad cubes. I don't know if any of y'all mess with that. Um, but that was back when bad cube was really terrible transformations. Their later mini bots yeah. are all really good. Um, it looks cool. Yeah. I mean, it's nice. He's super it's hefty. Cool. He's got, he's got, you know, tons of articulation. Um, you know, it's one of the, the good fans toys, toys. Uh, it does make me interested for how their beachcomber will turn out and their, uh, brawn which are i think both of those are due pretty soon but yeah so there's mr warpath he's the the hottest thing on the block right now for the masterpiece collectors of which i think i'm the only one <laughs> uh, sometimes. sometimes sometimes i play masterpiece collector you know yeah not I fans toys though i've i've decided that they are not for me i mean occasionally okay like i mean if you like simple transformations, their Dinobots are all good. Oh, you know, which is that's what I heard. Yeah. yeah, like they're all very straightforward. You know, and they <coughs> they had the benefit of Masterpiece Grimlock had already come out. Who's it's so it's hard for these people maybe that to, to remember back then when that thing came out or that are newer to the fandom, like how mind blowing Masterpiece Grimlock was when it came out. It was like holy crap, the tail folds into the legs. Oh my god, that's amazing! And now it's like you expect. Mm -hmm. You know, like, why wouldn't you do that, idiot? But it makes it makes all their dinosaurs pretty, much. pretty straightforward transformations. Um, they're all really well done. Oh, and his backpack doesn't peg in. Again, I don't know if that's a me thing or it's not something I saw a couple other... I watched a couple of reviews. Nobody mentioned it. So maybe I'm doing something wrong. I don't know. But I don't know. He's, he's pretty tight. And he makes a great-looking little tank as well. Um, the colors, I think they're trying to strike that balance between the flat matte look of the cartoon that Takara is doing versus the way fans always like to do it, which is shiny everything. And so they're like, they're trying to like meet the middle so that I think either way you like it, I think you'll like this toy. Um, like if it was a flatter paint, I would be happier, but this doesn't stand out like it's offensive to me. So yeah, that's my first one. Who would like to go next? Mm -hmm. I'm going to go with Christian then because he hasn't been on the show in a while. Sweet. Mm -hmm. my, my first thing would be really quick because I haven't had a chance to open a bunch of stuff yet. But what came in yesterday was the <gasps> Baby Yoda. Oh, starting nice. off with the off topic. Off Look topic. Look at that. Here, yeah, here he is. That's Roxy. She's here too. Yep, <laughs> Tiny Yoda. I've got uh, IG-11. Wow, and... that is super tiny because that's like, what, a third of the box? It's yeah. like a yeah. thumbnail, dude. <laughs> yeah. It's very small, which makes sense because it was ten bucks. Is it you no hard to with... find? I don't know if it's hard to find. Actually, I I kind of thought they might be hard to find, so I ordered two just in case. Like I knew someone who needed to get one, but uh, they seem to be plentiful at the moment. They came out in the last week or so. Amazon shipped theirs like last Tuesday, and then I got mine from Pulse on uh, Monday. Yeah, very very small box. If you got the Porgs. It's the same size as that box. Maybe actually, maybe a little bigger than that box. But it comes with a little frog that he eats in the show. Mm -hmm. It's really cute. So since that's the black series, that's basically black Marvel series. Legends scale, right? Yes. Yeah, and okay. same price okay. points too. Okay. So that kind of gives you an idea of what it would size with. Does he move? Yes. I don't know. At that size, yes. we'll find out when you open them. Okay. Yeah, he's got movable arms, arms and a movable neck. It looks like. And then so on the lot, opposite, he's mostly a cloth robe, so or not cloth, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. And on the opposite side of Black Series, I got this big old Imperial uh, probe droid. Nice. Probe droid, one of my favorite designs. We can't even see that; it's black. Oh, um, it's dark. It's very dark. Sorry, it's a probe droid. He's big. So where all of the Black Series figures are normally twenty dollars, you know, tiny ten dollar figure, big old thirty dollar figure. So you hit both sides. I like the pro droid from Empire Strikes Back. He's got cool battle damage and stuff and a nice stand. So there he is. 
it's right. I feel like you know they've been doing the same thing with you know Hasbro's becoming very homogenous with their lines. You know, for better or for worse, you know, it's I think in general it's a good thing, but you know, like Power Rangers is doing basically Marvel Legends, Star Wars basically Marvel Legends, you know, they're yes. all kind of and they're now they're doing those bigger price points. You know, it's not completely new, but we're seeing more and more of it like that droid there in the black series and like on the Marvel yeah. Legends side they did like a Venom figure that was the old an old build a figure piece that they did in a new paint scheme just as a yeah. single release. And they got Kingpin coming out soon as just a single release. Like, yeah, did it for like a deluxe uh, Black Widow from the movie that is the same price point. She comes with a whole bunch of interchangeable pieces, so yeah. But I'm cool with that. I mean, it, it gives that, them a chance to, to spread their wings a little bit without having to rely so heavily on builder figures. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then G.I. Joe's doing it too, of course, with its relaunch in the Marvel Legends scale, and then they have the deluxe Snake Eyes, which is like the deluxe Black Widow, I believe. I think, yeah. You know, kind of that same price point and whatnot. Don't forget the Overwatch figures that nobody cares about except for me. At least I have two. Isn't that over now? I think the line's over. They might do one when Overwatch 2 comes out. You never know. Hmm. My co- oh, my wife's cousin works on that game. Oh, cool. <laughs> nice. She, she was in QA. She, got, she went there out of college. And at the time, like it was at Christmas, you know, we're just chatting. She's like, yeah, I work on Overwatch. I'm like, what's that? And I game. I'm a gamer. And at the time, I hadn't heard of it. But like a couple months after that, I realized how big that thing is. It is it's pretty it's big. Huge. It exploded. Yeah. It, it was is, insane. <laughs> and it was funny because like they have Disney characters, like Star Wars people in Overwatch. Oh, wait, no. No, no I'm thinking of Fortnite. Fortnite. You are, yeah. yeah. I'm thinking of Fortnite. My bad. Overwatch yeah. just <laughs> looks like Oops. a Pixar movie. So pretty. That's right. The character yeah. designs are beautiful. I hate shooters. They're not fun, but I had to have a few of the figures just because they're pretty. Anyway, that's my off topic. Get, yeah. You want to see one more off topic? Banana again? Man from one of them at some point. One more, Christian. One, one, one more. more. One more. One and more so this is the only other off topic thing I had. I got Marvel Legend Stan Lee. Ooh. Nice. Aww. He's cool. I think I had him on the show like a month ago. I don't know if I had talked about it or not. I think I just kind of. Held it up while we were chatting. Yeah. Yeah. Can't yeah. This. yeah. The I know. Are you going to open yours or are you going to leave it sealed? I haven't decided yet. I, I was planning on yeah. opening him, and then he looks so good in this package. I don't know. I have one complaint with it when it's open is that like he doesn't. If you put put the shield in like that, you know, like how you would assume yeah. you would put it, the words aren't across. The mm-hmm. words are like this. Huh. Oh. It's yeah. I know, but I mean, like. Because his arm is behind the shield, you can, you know, get his arm up like that so that it still poses decently and it's, it looks reasonable across it, but it's, I was like, why, 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 why did you, you do put that? It on like, Maybe they were just thinking when years. the arm was like straight down and it just, I guess, but. He's very cool. I'm happy to have him. Yeah. Yep. Now I'm done. All right, Jack and Anna, fight to the death. Who Ladies first. Next? Sure. All right. Roughly how many rounds do you plan to nice do fight. tonight, Rob? Just so I know how to plan this. A oh. hundred? Like, you know, we used to go like 45 to 60 minutes. Okay. So, you know, two rounds. Okay. You know, two, two rounds. rounds and two like more? A round. I have two more, so three. Oh, okay. Three rounds. Do three. Dictated oh. by the I've got a lightning got round. It. But... Okay. So I'm going to go. My first one's going to be pretty fast because it's going to be first an advertisement that you know you can check out last night's show where I talked about my first deluxe con that I got about Seaween and how much I hated it. Rob was there too. Christian was there. It was great. I hate this thing. I was watching. It is I'm gonna find a new home for it and sell it to someone because I have no intention to complete. And I just want to collect the ones that I think are cool, which is not this one. In fact I would throw it over my shoulder in disgust. But I'm not going to. Uh oh, I'm gonna be lost. No, you're we have your audio, but your camera has locked up. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh now you're a robot. I was gonna say, yep, there she goes. <laughs> if you wanna drop this rejoin, Anna. I was talking. Oh my god, it's getting worse. It feels like the Matrix is eating her. Right now. We're out! <laughs> She is being digitized Man. as we speak. Oh, you're back. There we go. Are we coming back? back? 
All yeah. right. So cool. I still think what you should do, Anna, is because the rest of them are also good. Buy the other five and just get rid of that one. That way, if you want to combine them, you can. But they're all good individually too. Yep. So there's probably going to be at least three of them in my house because I also the the reason I was even going to feature that is just that I haven't got to talk about Lobclaw because I did not have him when we reviewed him on the show. And I have like huge regret that I didn't get to talk about him because like everyone who watches our um, Tuesday show knows me as the one who usually hates the retail figures. And I do not hate this. I opposite hate it. I, I anti hate it. I actually like this quite a bit. Oh, you it's love it. really cool. I don't want to say that. I, it'll give them the wrong idea. But I, I, I really like it. It's a really fantastic figure. I should have put it in animal mode because this face, this animal fish thing face that's definitely not the face a lobster has, but who cares? That is just a beautiful face. He's like a transformable Muppet. I just adore that <laughs> thing. He's going to be in lobster Muppet mode forever um, and never be a limb because his friends probably won't exist in my collection. But I really like him. He's really cool. And like, I don't know. I still have a hard time justifying the price for these guys as deluxe figures that are remold to figures that existed even before we hit the $20 price point. At a $35 price point, it's a little hard for me to justify. But at the same time, he's about as good as you can make an old Combiner Wars mold without like it's not gonna get happy much making better. a new toy. So, yeah. I don't know. I'm really happy with it just for once. I was so worried opening it because I literally bought it because you all were like, ooh, it's a robot lobster. You should buy it. And Christian was like, Anna, how many lobsters do you own? I was like, oh, zero. <laughs> mm-hmm. This is, well, actually, I have like three stuffed lobsters in my um, other display room. But <laughs> why not? I didn't know it's that. Baby. <laughs> I, I have weird things in my life. And now I have a transformer lobster, and this thing is like, like, whereas Seaween, definitely going to try to sell it. This one is like a permanent fixture in my collection. It's just, it's really good. I'm very happy. Watch me hate all the other ones. <laughs> you won't. You, you won't hate all the other ones. No. You may not love them all, but you definitely won't hate them. I don't hate Turtler. You'll I like Turtler quite a bit. Turtler. I think I will like Tentacle quite a bit. Tentacle looked pretty neat last night. So feel free to check out last night's show if you want to see them talk about how Shameless good Tentacle plug. is. And yeah. me talk about how bad Seaween is. But other than yeah. that, you know, that's a third of what I'm going to talk about tonight. Yeah, microcasters will be on... The archived video is <laughs> on our Facebook page, as well as eventually Lucas will upload them to YouTube sometime within a week-ish. Something like that. But yeah. You can check out those episodes. Yeah, next week we might finish Pranacon, or we might talk about tapes. Who knows what we'll do. We will do something. We will. We'll have toys. Yeah. Definitely toys. All right, but that's that's my that's my round, because those two went together. The rest of my <laughs> things are so eclectic that they don't go together. All right, Jack. So Jack. All right. My first one is one I've been looking forward to for a quite a while since the line started. I have a uh, go. Do you want to take a guess? I, I have one that I think is going to be in your round at some point tonight. I'll let you know if I'm wrong or not. Bottle Boom ah, Studio wrong. Series Sentinel Prime. Nice. Uh, like I said, one of my most anticipated because I really wanted a new Sentinel because the Voyager, the original Voyager, is crap. The leader is crap, despite I proudly present my leader right up there. Um, I liked both of those toys. I still have the leader. The leader is amazing. What's, I mean, I, I haven't played with it in, since it came out. You know, I transformed it once, I think, and that's been it. But the only I changes. One. <laughs> the only <laughs> things I kind of don't like about it, obviously, is like the paint. That's like a main problem in the studio series line but i mean uh, once they get past that it's fine um what's wrong with the, the other thing is lack thereof lack thereof yeah um the next thing is obviously it doesn't come with a shield 
but thankfully DNA De- Designs is doing their three pack to where it comes with stuff for Sentinel. Uh, it comes with his shield, a new sword, his gun, and then it comes with stuff for the 07 Camaro Bumblebee. Like pretty much just mainly his missile packs, and then it comes with actual good hands and some more stuff for Blackout. So that's a solid plus. But uh, another thing I hate about it is that the other thing I hate about that is his sword. Every time I try to put him in his truck mode, I do not put his sword because the way his swords go, it's the side of the truck. And just the way that the tabs are, it flexes the plastic horribly. And I've had stress marks already. So it's not good. Not good. So So how is the transformation on? Is it? It's actually fun. I actually really yeah. like it. Um, not too complicated. Nothing really infuriates you. It's pretty, pretty solid. I mean, I've mostly, uh, mostly just bought the Devastator bots from Studio Series. I think the only thing I bought was like Grimlock. But I've been pretty impressed with the engineering in most of the in the Studio Series stuff I've picked up. I know there are some definite crap ones in there, like that Bumblebee is apparently, like the Volkswagen one is apparently just hot it's garbage. horrible. Yeah. Um, but, like, a lot of them so far have been pretty good, and, they, and they've done some stuff that I wouldn't expect in a transform. You know, it's not like typical transformations. You know, they've done some new things. Does that one do anything really new, or is it... Um... Not really. Um... Yeah, it's just but it's still good. Yeah, can't really think of anything specific to really say so special about it. But yeah, it's okay. Pretty good. I'm really excited to get that one, but Target is currently boning me on that one in Scrapper. Oh, did you have them in an order together, and they yep. said out of stock or something? Yep, back ordered. So they're going to send me an email every Friday morning for about seven weeks, and then cancel them at the end. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that sucks. Is he out of stock everywhere? Yep. Or... I've got Double backup sucks. orders on Amazon. He will come in eventually. I'll, it'll be fine. It's just I pre-ordered for that buy one, get one half off sale. Mm-hmm. And they're just yeah. not going to honor anything I ordered there. Man, it's... Like, I know um, Lucas has had some stuff canceled from Target. It's so... Well, Lucas know, got his. Seems... Lucas got his. Like, Peter got his. Stuff. We know a lot of people who have gotten them. It's just like... Yeah, me, little old me this time. This is the second order that will be canceled from them. I, I think eventually, if we keep ordering from Target, everyone's going to get hit by it at some point. Of this, they don't know how to manage their stock levels or something. I looked into it a little bit, and they haven't been able to manage their stock levels since about two thousand nine. I found reports of the same behavior since back then. I was like, "Well, wow, I guess I should have done some research." So, that's just, I guess, that's how their online inventory system is, and. It's close enough. You know, it's not going to hurt their bottom line, really, at the end of the day. If they come in, I'll let you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's uh, back to me. If you've watched the show before, you, this one you've heard me talk about and how I could never get it. Um, let me fix his gun, potentially. So this is one that I had told Shozy to ship me before coronavirus hit and so like in january 8th it was sitting in customs and that shipment has never left the tracking numbers have never updated and they've and then for a while you know covid19 hit so all shipments stopped for a while and then eventually they started shipping again shows you sent me a replacement it sat in customs again for a month um, mm-hmm. but it did finally make it here and that is x transbots motormaster um who gravestone it just Man, <laughs> this, mm-hmm. this took me like a solid four or five months to finally get here. You know, like long after other people had already gotten theirs, just because of you know, you know, life happened. You know, stuff happened. It was it was this wasn't a knock on Show Z or whatever. It was just me bitching about the situation, not bitching about <laughs> Show Z. Um, you know, I, I'm I'm patient enough, so it's fine. Um, but he's a big bulky boy. Uh, we're still waiting on the trailer for anybody collecting this. You know that we're waiting on the trailer. We haven't even seen final pictures of it. Um, because they went back to the drawing board to redesign some stuff on it. But um, he's pretty freaking great. I really enjoy him. I've transformed him a few times. Um, you think, oh man, 
ex-trans bots and a big robot and it's a combiner part like that's going to be a nightmare it's not it's i did it without instructions uh just fine um like i after i'd done it i was like wait a minute i think i got some stuff wrong and i realized you know a few things need to peg in a little more there's a few minor annoyances with it um the side panels here like peg in and unpegging them doesn't make me feel super great it kind of like clips into some stuff you know oh and i find it yeah. better to like like to like move the part down around the clip a little bit mm. you know instead of just pulling it straight out like i'm that makes me feel a little better when I do it that way. And this is a known issue with this is like he has a uh, ab crunch. Well, the whole line has ab crunches. Um, but they've designed it kind of poorly. You can't really see, but there's a this purple plastic is kind of that softer plastic. Some people call it gummy. It's not gummy, but you know what I mean. It's that, it's that softer plastic. And these parts are hinged together for the ab crunch. And there's a pin that runs through them. And it stress marks the hell out of a part inside there and it's i don't know if the pin's too wide or what it hasn't broke and it's still attached in multiple other places so i think even if that part did break that it would be okay like i think it would still hold together but it definitely doesn't it's not something you want to see in a toy that you just open it's like oh there's already a stress mark there great uh, yeah like me and that sentinel so yeah except that one's obviously sentinel yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But that aside, I don't know. It's the rest of us put together really well, and like I said, the transformation was fun. I enjoyed it. He, he looks great. The my only complaint, as far as the deco or look of it, is that that's not purple. This little inner piece here, because they're supposed to be purple. I, uh -huh. I don't know why they didn't make them purple. And they even have like those pegged together in truck mode. But there's a panel that flips around so that you can have like a smooth side and the peg side. And so, like, they could have even just painted the backside of it purple and it would have looked better. Um, you know, it's just one of those, like, you know, that close. Um, but, yeah, that aside, no. He's awesome. He's got his big honking gun. Um, elbows are cool, at least. Like, they don't go up all the way, but I love it. Oh, yeah, actually, they do. They go up pretty far. But they do that where, you know, they fill in the gap there. It's not like a That's really off, cool. You know. More companies are doing that. Takar does it some, too, where, you know, the joint isn't completely destroyed. You know, there's something plastic going on through there. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and, you know, the knees look good too. Like, cause it's, and that's just cause it's a round piece there that it's an ankling on, but you know, it's still, you can bend the knee without it destroying the stult. But he's just got a ton of articulation. You can do all the things. He's got all kinds of ankle tilt. I don't know. However you want to pose him, you can pose. He's super freaking poseable. Like, again, this whole line has been, um, overall, this has just been a really solid set from, uh, X trans bots and I'm, Really looking forward to the trailer and putting it together. Um, related to him, just going to go with it, is I also got this. Mm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, y'all, I've talked before, I like, I love Pranacon just because the colors really sell it for me. G2 Breakdown is another one that, like, I held all, off on this for, like, a year or two and finally I was like, man, I got to have it. Because so I love the mold. Good. Yeah, and the colors are so pretty. And so I picked him up, and it's <clears throat> I I'm not gonna buy the rest of the set in G2. I just I don't have the room, you know, and I don't want to spend the money on it. But I had to get breakdown. I'm only doing that set in G2. Yeah, I was doing both, and then I had my masterpiece, you know, Crisis. I was finally able to offload the G1 ones uh, last month. I'm only doing G2. The set's great. I can't wait for Motormaster. Yeah. So, yeah, he is. You know, this started off with Crack Up, and Crack Up was like, holy crap, this set's really good. It's a really fun toy. This is just as fun. It's just as good. Um, I find that the little shoulder tabs peg in uh, about as good as Crack Ups did, which means not great. But, you know, if you bend it there, it doesn't pop out. And if it does pop out, it's easy to fix. It's not like a huge deal. Um, and then plugging the head in there where it tabs into the backpack is still a little too tight, just like it was on Crack Up. Um, but I don't know. It's still a wonderful toy, you know, part of a wonderful set. So I'm only going to get this, but I would love it if Fans Toys did their set in G2 colors. And that way I'd have X Trans Bots for my G1s. I'd have an extra G2 breakdown, which I'm totally fine with. And then I'd have another G2 set in the Masterpiece scale. I'd be all about that. Or even DX9, or maybe even both. DX9 has 
excellent engineering, even though they have some wonky issues going on. But the DX9 stuff I picked up has always just been really excellent toys, um, aesthetics aside. But, but yeah, so I got some more X Trends about boys. Uh, yeah. And yeah, and if you're looking for the G2 crack up, it's going on eBay for like 150, 160, 170. And I'm like, why? It is still in stock at Toy Dojo at its retail price of like 90 bucks. So don't buy it off of eBay. Just go to Toy Dojo and just buy it there. I, I bought it when I bought um, uh, this, you know, which we talked about on Microcasters, the uh, Proto RC. And it's like I bought them both together because I'd been eyeballing it. And I was like, I'm doing it. And there's a ton in stock. So go there if you want to buy it. Yeah. Christian. All right. I'm about to do a hype around because there's a lot that go together here. So we're going to go fast. Right. We're going to go real fast. All right. I got a bunch <laughs> of Hasbro <laughs> exclusives. So we got Knock, nice. Scar, nice. Frenzy, nice. Wing Thing. I got the new Lionizer, and I'm going to stop pause on him because his clear orange plastic is really cool. I don't know why this was never clear on any of the other releases, but it definitely should have been. Boom. Wait, freeze. <laughs> Go, wait, but pause. Go Boom. back to that. I'm back. So only the blade part is clear, correct? The blade and, is that silver and, painted? The blade and the head because they're part of the same sprue. But okay. they're silver painted. So the silver yeah. is all painted on there? Yep. Is that Does that just peg into his butt? That's what it looks like? Like friction pegs on the sides? Yeah. Of it. Okay. okay. So you not wor- you don't have to worry about something breaking. Like clear nope. plastic gives me the willies sometimes. And it's and that, if it's done like that, it's fine. Too. Like it's thick yeah. clear plastic. You said that was an exclusive. Yeah, it came with Megatron, Megatron. from the Netflix oh. series. Is that is that a Walmart exclusive? It is. That is. Are? Yep. yep. Okay. I managed to grab several of them when I was out doing a grocery. Actually, like over the past three weeks, I've gotten most of them over like three different grocery runs so yeah, Saldron says you might have just sold him on that Megatron because it comes <laughs> with Lionizer it also comes with Pinpointer I didn't grab him but he looks exactly like Trenchmouth from the uh, G2 Sideswipe set from Amazon like it's the same plastic colors it's really weird but this Megatron is super tight it is metallic it's amazing I'm sure we'll talk about it on Microcasters eventually but like he's a shiny boy he's shiny and it 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 basically takes away paint? all the... Pro- it's all paint. Look at him. Look at him. That's a lot for yeah. Hasbro. Yeah. Even for a store exclusive. Yeah. It's way they too much put paint. put that on Studio Series. They right. do put it on Studio Series. Go buy Shockwave. Um, One fig. This Megatron. I'm excited for that thing. Even though I didn't right. like the mold before. I think I I'll like, like it now. Which mold is it? It's the, the Siege, mold is Siege sure. Megatron. So that that's the G two hero. Yeah. Yep. And okay. And also maybe kind of Earthrise. We'll see. <coughs> okay. All right. Also. Oh, the Earthrise Chromia. isn't out yet. Not yet. Jesus, we're still going. Man. Chromia, she's way cooler than before with her black paint. <laughs> okay. Cool. <laughs> I was uh, thinking. Also, <laughs> I don't want to make that noise, Rob, but I agree. Mirage. Oh, I was cool. beating you to it. I yeah, was Mirage. this close. I was this close to buying Mirage today, but I was like, nah. I got two scrap faces. One, Not three. two. I need I need one more. If anyone has one, everybody find one when you're out getting your supplies. Who, who thinks that is gonna me. they are gonna live past the first five minutes of the first episode? No. No, I don't either. <laughs> I just want a blue camera. So if you guys if anyone out there I finds can, a, a spare scrap face for me, they're me good know. figures. His name is Dyer. They go on Friday, Christian, so I'll take a look for you. Thanks, man. Mm-hmm. I also got hot link. Boom. I'm going to use that as Skywarp. No, you're not. Just to you're piss dumb. off Paul. Can put that at a hot dog bun. I got uh, the spoiler pack. His name is Sausage, Magnus. by the way. Sausage His name is not Sausage. Link. Sausage. That's the stupidest Sausage. thing I've ever heard. It's hot sausage um, and You're welcome. Sausage. Nope. I hate it when you say that. Um, <laughs> Ultra Magnus is in this box, but I'm going to leave it sealed. What? Why would you say that and tell us? That's now not the spoiler part. Spoiler it literally says Ultra Magnet. He's, his picture's right here. It yeah. says it on the box. Says that. <laughs> right there. Is the pink figure supposed to be the spoiler? Yes. Okay. So I'm actually going to leave this closed until the show comes out because 
I think it might be cool to open it when the show comes out because I'm weird. That's <laughs> fun. Like a fun it's thing. an event. That's what I'm going with. I like it. All right. It just All right, so fun. how much are... How much were these figures? Are they the Walmart exclusive ones? Are they um, twenty bucks for de- deluxe? Deluxes are twenty. The Voyagers, so Megatron and Hot Link with the two uh, Battle Masters of Peace are forty. Yeah. Ooh. So Magnus was yeah. like sixty. Magnus was sixty. Okay. okay. But th- the Voyager packs are fine. I mean, it's a thirty dollars figure with two five dollars figures that equals forty dollars. I'm yeah. good with that. That's all. That's, that's all fine. I do want to talk is about Hot Link for one second because he has the two best mine. named Target Masters. Is it on here? Are they on the back? On the back. Oh, they're on the back. These two Target Masters are kind of identical, and they're called Heat Stroke and Heartburn, and it's amazing. They kind of—I I can't tell of what they look like in person, but they kind of look like Rack and Ruin a little bit. They are. It's yeah, blue I kind of see that. Yeah, instead of green, but they are close. Okay. Yeah, it's, okay. I could see why you would think that. Okay, so the uh, are they based off anything? Or are they just new? The Battle Masters, Heat Stroke, Harper. Yeah, they're new. Is a uh, that Lionizer? Is that based off anything? Or is it's that new based on Lionizer? I thought I thought that Bigger. was like more orange and yellow, and like what the original colors were. It's orange. Like, like the the original version of that mold, though, isn't it yellow? Or it's or wait, no, black. So they released Black and Siege, which wasn't based on the G1 Lionizer. This looks more like the G1 Lionizer. Oh, I know what I'm thinking. I'm thinking it looks of that, like it. I'm thinking of the Headmaster or the Titan Master. It doesn't look oh, like Lion so like or something. My own. Yeah, sorry. So right. Lionizer is... Um, Y'all know that. <sighs> Who's partner, Anna? Lionizer? Is Shockwaves? No, Lionizer it's all about partner. No, Lionizer's with Rad. Oh, Snarl. Rad. Snarl. No. Rad. Rad. Trad, man. Yeah, the, the, um, I want to go back to him again because this clear plastic really changes the figure. We've gotten two of this before and it's been black and gray. Um, the first Lionizer had some blue paint. The, the second Dazzle Strike had some green paint that look identical. Adding a clear piece to this really changes the character of the figure. I mean, maybe that's neon orange too. I don't know. But it looks great. It's my favorite version of this mold. Dazzle Strike was a waste, unfortunately. <laughs> I don't know. It just, it's the same thing. It's the same colors, same mold colors, one paint difference. That was a waste. But this one is amazing. Yes. And it comes with amazing Megatron, and it comes with pinpointer that you need for crosshairs, even though that one's not amazing. Do, um, have you. I think it looks like you haven't opened the Mirage yet. I have not. You know, I've thought the. You know, when I buy mainline stuff, it's usually at this point like more off the wall stuff is what I'm interested in because if it's mainline dudes, I have the G1 and I probably have a masterpiece representation of them. And so, like, your normal chug representation, I've been like, I've been avoiding that for the most part. So, a Decepticon Mirage is pretty unique, which kind of interests me a bit. So, mm-hmm. like, do you, you have other versions of that mold, right? I've got both the other ones, yeah. I combine them. What do you think of it? How it's it? a fun mold. It's nice and chunky. It's got a good transformation. It ha- it's a good representation of the character. I like it, even though I only have the crappy clear one. You mean the really good clear one? Yeah. Mm-mm. So the cool thing about these deluxes, and I can't show because Mirage is, is not out of the box, but you can show with Chrome is that they are positively slathered in paint. And so what I can see on the Mirage here, he's got a base kind of gray color, but that's painted over again with a gray kind of bluish color. And then sometimes even painted over with the battle damage black gray over that. So it's a lot of paint. It looks really good. Very premium kind of figures. A lot of paint on Chromia here. And the, her <laughs> blue is just darker, so it's not... It, the other one is kind of blip. This one, very no. good. The only way to save that mold is to make it ten a kill, as we've yeah. learned. That's... <laughs> uh, so that one, tentacles were my tentacle. favorite, and then Nightbird, and then this one. More like a shipbird. That's t- way too many exclusives, but yeah, they all kind of went together. Thank you, Jack, for looking for scrap face for me because I want the third one. We'll, we'll get, get it. We'll get it. I, Hopefully, I have, n- the Walmart exclusives because you know they've done like they had the cartoon. Colors, you know, I didn't buy any of them, but I know of them. Like, it feels like the Walmart exclusives, people can get a hold of pretty easily, right? Scrapface is a problem. He is one per case. 
each store is only getting one case. And That's you need it? three of them to do the thing. Yeah, he's short. Yeah, just getting like one case, period, or just like one case, like in this round of shipment, or just, that's all we know. That's all we know. Okay. Okay. Oh man, that's so funny that the troop builder, the three that go together, got short pack. Well, and oh man, if you go, I've been seeing reports that you know people are going to these stores. The case is two side swipes, two hounds, two mirages, a chromia, and a scrap face. Um, what I'm seeing is that, in, in almost every instance. What's left on the shelves is two side swipes and two hounds. Mm. No one's buying them. They look exactly the same as the Siege releases. And now we just got leaks earlier tonight that there's two more waves of Netflix figures coming, and a lot of them are Siege figures again. It's like, I don't know. Gotta have a lot of shelf warmers. And you're gonna cannibalize Earthrise sales. Possibly. Clearance, here we come. <laughs> That's, I will get see, uh, uh, Sideswipe and Hound on clearance because they come with a piece of Teletran. And, uh, oh, I didn't realize that. Grab quickly. Yeah. That's the grab cardboard quick. insert, right? Yeah, it's the cardboard insert. It's cool, though. You're going to have to show it to me later. I'll show it to you. Bye. <laughs> it's not far. Christian's Christian gone. has left the show. Never Christian to return. leave the show. Roxy ate him. It's this. So yeah, it's okay. cardboard. It's not any like special cardboard or anything, but the detail on it is so good. But it's like, completely flat, isn't it? It's completely yeah. flat. But when you put yeah. all, all five of them together, six of them together, I think it will be a box. It's so well detailed yeah. that it doesn't look flat, which is really yeah. bugging my perspective. Yeah. I like it. It's like it's those 3D wild. paintings. Yeah, or like, or like I, they'll, they'll do it on the sidewalks or whatever. Yeah, I have several of them in my house. I was totally <laughs> expecting this just to be, you know, a piece of crappy cardboard. It's really cool. That's good. Hmm. All right, so Anna, what's next? I'm going to say that like we're over 40 minutes in, so maybe we only do two rounds tonight. Possibly, I don't know. If you guys change your mind, I'll do my third thing. But I want to do my good thing now because. I want to make sure that I get to talk about this tonight. I'm going to keep stalling. Um, So, fun thing. I recently had this, like, event where someone in my local community was selling this, like, this two totes full of random crap that he had for customs. It was just, like, it was just stuff. And he was just, you know, willing, he just wanted to get rid of it so he could move and that kind of stuff. So he just kind of, you know, put it up on, put it up on Facebook and said, hey, will anybody buy this? And I said, well, I'm, I'm that silly, so I'll do it. Why not? I'll, I'll go ahead and get this. And then it wasn't Lucas. It wasn't Lucas. I swear. I've bought a few things from him in the past, but Lucas has made fun of me for buying this multiple times, which he is wrong to have done so. Um, but anyway, when I got it, it was like, what he had pictures of was mostly just customs, right? It was customs that he hadn't finished that were kind of like, there was enough of them that it was definitely worth it. They were pretty cool. I thought maybe I'll display them. Maybe I'll spread them out among my friends, that kind of stuff. But then when I got it, I dug through it and there's this entire tote of really good condition action masters. Oh, nice. And now nice. I have Trisha. a best named action master friend, Cat Gut. <laughs> Cat gut. Cat gut is beautiful and very nice looking. And Tread Shop is cool too. I was actually lucky enough that Tread Shop was actually complete. It's, I was really surprised that he actually had his gun and his kitty cat. All right. I love Tread really Shot. So I have to go get something. I'll be back in two seconds. That's oh. all right. I'm going to keep talking. One, there's, two. There's not just two one, seconds, so. but eight. So I'm going to save that one for later. In two seconds, Rob. The hell? So, do you know what Tread Shot is based off of? Yes. This guy. This is a gun transformer, a 357M Robo. <laughs> and this is what Tread Shot is based off of, which is not a transformer or Takara product, but you know it has the gun barrel chest, which you'll notice Tread Shot has for some reason. Yeah. You know, and the heads are similar if I remember correctly. Um, I don't, my trade shot, I, this is literally right, ne- almost right next to it. I should have picked it up so I can compare them. 
But take a look at that head. <laughs> but you didn't. Yeah. <laughs> and so, yeah, for some reason, Treadshot is based off of this gun toy. Yeah, that's just sad. That's fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, there were a couple other guys in the set. So, I got Bonsage, Bonsai Tron and Razor Sharp nice. are together. They're, they're good friends. And this guy's in good masters. I love this thing because it's such a weird little um, weapon friend. They're just... Mm -hmm. Weapon friends are my thing in the that first place. I love Weapon Masters. Yeah, they're, so the only one that actually had his gun was Treadshot. And something I wanted to talk about in the completionism show is a lot of people would be like, oh, they don't have their little guns. They're not good enough. But for me, it's like, they don't need guns. They have friends. They have little animal people with them. So um, anyway, also got the croc. Croc. Nice. Croc, I feel, had a bit of resurgence. I think it's kind of died down now, but like... We friends. got him from the club, and then he got a mainline redeco. And like, Titan's Return, yeah. He's actually George one of my favorite repaints. He's great I colors. actually like him. If you Not don't like everyone. Croc. Back when toys looked like real cuts. Not everyone had no friends. Plugs. Some people had backpacks. So, we have Kickoff that, with a that backpack. That also has... Kickoff got an extra master toy, which is also it's off the jazz mold, the classic jazz mold, mm -hmm. just super pretty thing. as well. Very pretty. And then oh, he's the one that? who says alt modes are for wimps. Oh, two of them got left over there. Oh, too bad. Ah, two of mine didn't make it over. I also got a star scream and a Megatron. Megatron has half of his tank, not the whole tank. Star scream <laughs> has his jet, but he needs some parts. Um, like honestly, finding those complete is a lot harder. Like the other action masters that totally fine by me. Like those are um, kind of like common action masters, like compared to the elites. You, you know, they're not too bad to to finish if you do want to finish the parts. You know, but getting all of Megatron's can take a bit and be a bit of money. Uh, it's fine. I may or may not do it. We'll see what happens. But <laughs> last complete pairing that I got no in here is Ian Wing Thing. They are the best. Thing. I have, I think I have every Ween thing now, which is very strange. I went from having none to having all of them. They really a lot of Wing things. things. It's it's one of those weird, super obscure things that Born, is now common. Right? Yeah, it's it's kind of come out of nowhere. So yeah, I also have the Star Trek and the Megatron, but I have a problem because I also got other stuff that don't have their friends. Like I have this little car machine. And no one to drive it. <laughs> Wheeljacks, isn't it? No, it's not. Wheeljacks uh, are sprockets. It's sprockets. I, just don't, I can tell you right now, though, do not uh, do not rotate that gun in the back. Honestly, okay. you shouldn't touch it. <laughs> that is all yeah, GPS. It, it is super brittle. Up. It is already don't breathe on it. And it's just waiting for you to touch it and finish the job. I also have yeah. a helicopter with no one to pilot it. Oh, I just blanked on his name. Overrun. Overrun, man. Christian schooling well, me over here. Like, I own all these toys, and I love these toys. And I really, I didn't want to spoil the fun, but I could have held this up for comparison either, because I, earlier, either, because I, I actually do have Lionizer. No Lionizer. Lionizer's colors are quite a bit different than his new version, because his legs are gray instead of orange. It's definitely yeah. less bright and more, um, you know, a bit of service call. I'll leg swap with the other one and it'll be close. You could, you know, considering this one it. secretly Love only it. has three legs. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Just you have to display it from the right side. He's he's like the Alice in Chains dog. I also Alice have in Chains. for for That's Snarl. Really. If I ever find an Ash Master Snarl. This thing is super cool. Like I love how this thing looks. It's just a goofy little dinosaur. Also have an action master friend for Grimlock, if I ever find a Grimlock, and his gun. So I'll be happy for that. Also have an action master friend for Jazz. And it doesn't so turn into a terrifying worm. It doesn't turn into a terrifying worm yet. I, I had Jazz as a kid. I'm really hoping that when I go through like my mom's crap at her house eventually... I will it. find it. He's in terrible condition, if I remember right. But he was my childhood, so whatever. And then, finally, I also have a little rhino friend with no friend. No. Wait, wait who's is he? 
that's top heavy. He belongs with Skyfall. Yes. So I mean Skyfall. So this is a cry for help. I need their friends. Like the the easy part of Action Masters is usually finding just the loose guys without their friends. I need those <laughs> loose guys. So I have to find someone who has a bucket of Ash Masters who doesn't have don't have their accessories so I can just finish out these things. I can get some drivers, I can get some animal friends. Nice. It'll be great. <laughs> Super excited though, because I've actually been wanting to start an Ash Master collection for quite a while now. And I just didn't really have like I always said like it wasn't time. Nothing had happened to like get me started on it. And now this random event happened where like I got started. a really good deal to get this like big glob of them. Like I've to me, I have six of them complete because I don't care about their guns. Um, and I think that's a really good start. So I'm super excited to have yeah, an Ice Monsters collection. For people that have been, you know, watching the show for a while, they'll know I've recently, like fairly recently, like, really knocked out a lot of my collection. I think last time I was on, I I had finally finished uh, Shockwave's partner. Because fist fights arms are super hard to find, and it had a long, arduous journey. Uh, you can go listen to the episode if you want. Um, if people are interested, but like I'm trying to get those arms, they were, it was terrible. Um, and just recently wrapped up the four elites. Uh, I think all I'm missing now is um, bomb. No, I got bombshell. It's uh, tracks. I think I'm just missing tracks and you got power swipes. Flash? Huh? You got power flash? Dope. I love power flash. Yeah, I have everything except uh, tracks, and then like action masters, my or my sideswipe has no parts. It's just the robot that I got for three dollars. So that's pretty well, good. Deal. That's good. Deal. <laughs> yeah, I forgot like, I had shockwave maybe... as well. He's hanging out on Prowl's Shock motorcycle wave. that nice. I don't have. Turn up Prowl. <laughs> Do you have the motorcycle? Shockwave stole it. He's a jerk like that. Shockwave is like the loosest thing ever. A lot of uh, action older. masters half are that our path way. tonight. <laughs> Yeah, um, I was actually watching, because for some reason, a lot of uh, Fuse, um, damn it, opens are coming back up on my YouTube, so I'm kind of watching them, so every time he gets an Action Master, the hips are, like, insanely <laughs> loose because all the, that, like, elastic stuff over the ball joints are pretty much deteriorating, so it's, like, all droopy legs, and it's just funny to watch. Yeah. <laughs> they yeah, just sit there, like, ready to fight, here comes their legs, just... <laughs> Most of these are super tight, though. It's, Shockwave's kind nice. of the exception. Most of them are actually, you know, they're they're good. They're decent. Yeah. They hold their well, poses just fine. I mean, Inchbree always wins, so eventually they will all be dust. You know, some of them sooner than we'd like, but that's how she goes. It's a competition to see who can last longer, since me and them are about <laughs> the same age. <laughs> They're a little younger than I am, so they have to live. They all, they have to outlive me by a couple years. <laughs> I think they're the same right, age as ready? me, right? Seems like it. So, Jack. All right, my last one for tonight is one I've been looking for for a while. Finally, just bit the bullet. I think. I think it was last week. I don't. I, I don't know. This <laughs> ugly <laughs> mofo. Nice. Oh, nice. Because like he was hard to get if you didn't get the like the initial pre order in, right? Like by the time like it came out, it sold out everywhere. Yeah, yeah my Walmart had two of them. <laughs> nice. My Walmart now had two, had so I was like, yeah, I'll be I... back later in the year. But yeah, he's hard to get now. Yeah, I was uh, tempted to get either him or Shockwave, and I'm like, well, I kind of need Stop him it, a little bit more. Stop it! You were going to break it. No, I'm not touching the gold parts. I'm just touching the orange parts. I hadn't really played with it yet. I didn't realize the wheels folded in. How fancy. <laughs> Sorry, so, Jack. No, <laughs> Sorry, Jack. Mine's broken. It's not the first time. Uh, so, yeah, I was like, yeah, might as well just get Scavenger and just hold off on Shockwave. So. I, mean, I assume you're building Devastator, right? Yep, but Rooney. So I thought Scavenger was another one of those that it doesn't transform how I thought it would transform. I know. <laughs> um, I mean, so it's it's not a difficult transformation, but it, it's one that was the way my brain is wired. It was harder to to, to puzzle out the first time. Yeah. You know, I, I think I eventually got there. I might have had to look at like the picture of the box or something like, oh, that's where that ends up. You know, to to, to make that's it. That's what I did. But yeah, that's what I did. Because I was going between. 
MGO's just transform it video because I found those a lot better than the instructions. So it's going be between his video, the instructions, and the the box just to make sure I had it right. And I'm like, okay, don't think I'll ever get that to that again. But uh, seeing how the most likely the next time I'll be touching him is putting him into combine mode. So yeah, so yeah, scavenger. Awesome. Very cool. Right, so I like him a lot. We're going to do one more round, and we can do a lightning round if we want. Do it that okay. way. We don't take too long, but that way we get at least three rounds in, because I still have a pile of crap. Uh, I'm going to go next with what I thought you were going to say, Jack. So hopefully uh -oh. you'll have it next time. Sorry, Christian, avert your uh -oh. eyes. <laughs> I got my scrapper in. Um, so sad. He <laughs> is really fun. Uh, I've really enjoyed playing with him. He is one that... In robot mode, the only like real robot kibble or truck kibble is the yeah. uh, the tank, and then like I could tell that the front shovel split into three parts. I was like, those got to come together at some point, but it's not like there's any shell anywhere else. It's all like arm and leg and stuff. So I could not figure out what it was supposed to do just because I had no idea where to move things to. So that's one where I had to definitely look at the picture. I was like, oh, these round things end up on top, and then after that, <laughs> I was able to figure it out and, and put it together. But it is, it is a super fun toy. There's not a lot of paint on it. Um, you know, as we've, as Jack has mentioned, and I have agreed with him. It's more paint. Yeah, uh, but I mean, like, there's a, there's a few little pieces, but it's mostly just different colored plastic. But it's really fun, you know. And if you're building Devastator, you're going to get it anyways. Um, but like, m like most of the other Devastator bots, I find them good on their own merit. Like, even if you weren't building it, they're pretty fun toys with different engineering a lot of the case i think the only one i don't mm -hmm. like is um uh what is the green truck wide load long, no. haul. long haul long haul jesus i can't remember anything tonight um it's terrible but yeah long haul because it doesn't peg together well it's it just it doesn't i saw it in reviews too mine was fine fight. i think mine really? fine too yeah yeah well, i saw it on some reviewers so it wasn't just me at least but anyways he's cool Go find him. Uh, yeah, I was, I was, I was surprised because obviously he's Sentinel's wave mate, and when I got my Sentinel, there was no scrapper to be found. It was, like I said, just Sentinel, and I have not seen a scrapper since. Yeah, he's he's cool. He has weird crap too. Like these make his arms. So one of his hands is the shovel thing, and other hand is whatever the hell that is. Just like a <laughs> claw. The claw. Yeah. yeah, except it doesn't open or anything, but. Yep. Yeah, he's neat. It's a whisk. It's, it's his whisk for when he's baking. When he's yeah. not baking Cybertronian pyramids. cake. Yeah, he's making. He's very cake. dedicated to his hobbies. He did body yeah. modification so he could learn to bake better. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. All right, Christian. Last thing I've got is old. It's an R.I.D. Wow. landfill Ooh. set from nice. Black Friday, two thousand two. <laughs> I've actually had this one before, and I sold it, and I wanted it back. And I didn't intend to get it mint, but it is, and I'm going to open it, and it's going to be great. I know the, the set of mold isn't for everybody, and people harp on it for being a weird combiner, but I really like it. It's a weird so combiner. Have it again. Also, it came is in a huge thing? box, because this box is very long. Yeah. Is uh -huh. that set still pretty expensive? I got this one for just under 40 Okay. That's not Which bad. is a deal. They're they're typically going from fifty to sixty, so I got a little bit of a deal. Cause that's, I mean, that's, a... that's ten bucks a bot. That's yeah. yeah. I mean, even fifty or sixty, that's still not bad considering it's still in the box. You know, from yeah, you know, two thousand two. So. Yeah. It is that old. That was that was my first Black Friday I ever did. Like I, I love Black Friday. It was, Black Friday is my favorite holiday, and that was it was so fun because I got. I bought two of those because they were super cheap. I think they were like twenty dollars or something. They were I they were so, yeah. very very cheap at Walmart. Um, so I bought a couple of them and eventually sold them for much more than that. <laughs> I think I bought my first one for thirty and I sold it for about that. So I, I I wanted it back. I just I like it. I like the uniform look of the yellow. I like the uniform look of the green Devastator one I have. I like the original look too. So now I've got them all again. Let me. Awesome. Oh, real quick, I did want to... I already transformed this guy to robot. That's how quick you can do it. His head's really weird. 
Yeah. Yeah. Really weird. It's like a bullet, and if you said, oh, that's upside down, and you turned it the other way, and it looks just as right or wrong. <laughs> it, it's, Sh show me the whisk. It is. There you go. Oh, it is a whisk. Yep. 100%. Bacon time. Yeah, because I think if, I, if, my, if my memory is... nice and yellow. He can go with landfill. If my memory is right... From the movie, I think when you see him, I think he did pull it out and kind of use it like a as a mace, kind of like what Megatron did. Mm. If my memory's right, I'm not gonna rewatch that movie to find out. I know, I know. <laughs> it's but I'm pretty. I'm pretty. Oh, that. But I'm pretty sure it might have been a mace too. No, you're, you're right. It, that's what he did with it. Oh, so for your landfill, are you gonna get the uh, was it Costco? Prime and Ultra Magnus yellow ones as well. Oh yeah, the it? yellow and I like, have had those, mm -hmm. and I, I got rid of them as well. Actually, the the Prime has now been in possession of I think four different TFYLP cast members. Because I bought that it from, one. Is that one? I bought it from Duran, and I sold it to Surge, who sold it to PF, and I think he still has it. <laughs> okay. We're well, gonna so, have to buy it back now to have the yellow RID crew. <laughs> uh, no, I'm okay. I do want the Armada. Optimus and Overload set that's yellow. I would like to have those. Those are Sam's Club. I just got to get the regulars for that collection. So, mm -hmm. all right, Anna. This is the lightning round, right? We're supposed to go fast. Faster, yeah. Faster. Oh man, it takes so hard to decide. <laughs> I mean, if it's five or ten minutes, it's fine. Oh, don't, that's, don't that's not very it. lightning. Oh well. Um, I, I'll do something kind of bigger. So also from that set, like the, um, the, the lot that I just bought, the guy had a couple like kind of nicer looking customs that he had acquired from someone else. He didn't tell me who made them. So I have no idea who made this, but it's just really unique. So here we have oh, a, it's, it's Megatron, right? Out of brainstorm. But, it, but it's, yeah, huh. the Voyager brainstorm made it into Megatron. He's got, very cool. He's got an interesting take on the fusion cannon going on. Um, they actually did a good job detailing the guns in the back. So, you know, I could take him off and give him little guns if I wanted to. Um, I don't think I would ever transform this thing because the paint is really good. But the paint also, like, you can feel it. It's thick. This is yeah, not, not a, sealed. like, thin, careful paint. Um, it might. It down, they... I'm not sure if it's sealed, but, yeah, I don't think it was sanded down first for sure. So it's really, really interesting take on this thing because they also, they did away with the headmaster mechanic and changed it to a normal head slot so that yeah, he can have what I think is a, that's a prime head, right? That's the war for Cybertron. Is it? Is it? It looks like yeah. the prime void. That's war for Cybertron. That's war for Cybertron. Because okay, the cool. prime, the prime version, he has the eyebrows. But yeah, that's the Warfare Cybertron version. Cool. So yeah, the only thing I, I don't like, I can't stand that that sticker is off center. Oh my I god! I, like, I noticed that too. This is such a good paint job. It's like such a good custom, and then there's an off center sticker on the center of it that just, well, it offsets the whole thing, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's hard to get a label just on perfectly. But that's it is way it's off. Egregious. It's Wouldn't like it you're, be sad you're though? Like, just imagine if I was the one who put the sticker on and you just, like, broke my heart. <laughs> okay. No, it definitely came like that. Because I don't put stickers on anything. I put like stickers every... on one figure and it tortured me to do it. It's like sticker. every time I'm trying to look at a different detail on that figure, I just keep getting, brought, like, dragged back in by that Decepticon logo. There. Yeah. Now check him at out. First I thought it was just... Um... Maybe I, I want to look at his right leg. Around, you know, I, I thought know. it was just like lag, lag or something. It's like, no, that is. <laughs> See, he's that's still better. You now. might have to take the sticker off. You might like yeah, be able to use Goodon to not hurt the paint. Just very carefully to see if it'll destroy yeah. the paints or not. Because it's like, you know, this is just going in a weird spot in my collection. I'm never going to try to sell it. I'm never going to try to do anything with it. I'm just going to set it on the shelf because it looks nice on the shelf. You know, it looks fancy. It was like some weird fancy custom that I got that I have no idea who made. Um, uh, Man you know, Monster Mecha though. in the chat says that the person on the sticker must have just sneezed at the last moment. You're like, <laughs> so, I can see it. <laughs> Shit. I can see that. <laughs> I can definitely see that. Because I honestly don't own this mold at all. 
Like, I think, and I still have to go through it, so I'll be talking about this box again on a future show. I still have to go through it, but I think there's a completely disassembled one, like, that's in, you know, like, almost 100 parts um, <laughs> of this mold as well that I might be able to put back together and actually have the mold. But I don't, yeah. I don't have that brainstorm, so this is my first exposure to the mold, and it's really cool. It's just awesome. mine is a weird Megatron. It's kind of IDW-inspired. Yeah. It definitely, I'm betting this was made before there was any representation of IDW before Mega Trans a toy. Out. Right. And they were like, really wanted one, I'm sure. And they got it. And here it is. It's this weird thing in this crazy lady's house now. It's just going to go on the, it's going with my prime figures. Because I think it'll look good there. Definitely. I don't know where else to stand it in my collection, honestly. <laughs> There's a whole lot of room on my shelves right now. But yeah, that's that'll be my that'll be my last one. I have way too many other things. I've gone a little crazy lately. Mostly from that box though. Mostly from that box. I mean, look at all these action masters you can't see. <laughs> all right, so, Jack, do you have another one? Technically, they're actually on their way via the mail. Uh, <laughs> I did I am going through the Unicron trilogy and trying to assemble a cast out of each show. So I actually do have three Unicron Trilogy figures, one from each show, on their way. But I am pretty much going to save it for next show. So tune That's in. Good. Nice. Think. Right, you know, cool. if you don't have a figure yet, you can always just draw a picture of it and bring it to the show like I did last <laughs> night. Don't do that. Like, Here's don't my good skill. Definitely do that. What are you talking about, Rob? Well, I mean, <laughs> cool people do. I could kind of, I could kind of do that because I mean, one of them I could just do a cat covered in snow. Wink, wink. <laughs> so. I just sold that. I'm beginning. Wait, no. I, I need to start telling you guys when I'm selling Unicron Trilogy stuff instead of listing it on eBay. So it's sell to you guys instead. Rob, Rob, what was your eBay username? XOX. <laughs> okay, never mind. Because the guy I bought it from is cheesy. Okay. See, Rob, that's <laughs> I was going to say, I'm like, I mean, I think I would notice the name when I printed it off. I'm like, Wait, that's Jack, son of a bitch. <laughs> but. That's why I wanted to talk about these action masters, because they thought, you know, this way, if someone else in the cast is like, oh, I have these crappy, no accessories action masters I want to get rid of, they can they can call Anna, and Anna will be happy to take them. Or if a, if a watcher is there, I'm like, hey, I have a, a morgue full of dead action masters. I am <laughs> in the home for You're those. The I am, because I have a lot of a lot of friends with no owners. All right. Well, <laughs> thank you everybody for joining in. We've had a, you know, Rodimus and Man Monster Mecha, Zaldron, and uh, you know a few other people. As he said, Anna needs her own show. <laughs> Zaldron threw shade before the show even started. I mean, that's like pre shading. It is I guess that's a thing now. Um, but you know, you know, if you enjoyed the show, enjoy what we do. Make sure to hit us up on Patreon. We have tiers starting at a dollar. Um, patreon.com forward slash tflp uh, we have a bunch of shows all week long uh, Friday is a pre-recorded segment with Rick Alvarez uh, cut the tape on Sundays are um, now that we dropped weekly from the name it's actually been weekly our, our new segment uh, pre-recorded uh, edited podcast uh, digest comes out of course Monday is our bread and butter show tflp here on YouTube Tuesdays is microcasters with uh, Lucas, Anna, and Christian, and sometimes other cast members hop in. I've been hopping in on the Seacons. Um, and that's on Tuesdays on Facebook, and then later is uploaded to, to YouTube. Um, and we will, and obviously here on Wednesdays, I've been doing it every two weeks because things slowed down and it was getting pulling teeth for cast. Um, but right now I still have a lot of stuff I could talk about and stuff coming in. We might do a show next week if cast is around. Um, so we'll see. Uh, I've got more to talk about, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm trying to rotate in. Like, we actually had a fifth for tonight. You know, you're rotating anybody in. I got those. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, it was one of those. I'm trying to, you know, Christian hadn't been on in a while. So I like to, where we can, you know, give everybody some so a, a chance to be on the show. So That's we'll fun. see. We might have a show next week if I can, if enough people have so. So it sounds like Anna's in. Uh, <laughs> some other people <laughs> might be. be in too. Might be. Okay. If you get three other people, if, it's okay. But I'm just saying, I can fill yeah. the gaps. Awesome. 
I'd like to get Nick on too. Uh, if you checked out TFL Pi, uh, TF, well, the, TFLP <laughs> on Monday, uh, our new cast member Nick is on there. Uh, he's a friend of a friend of ours. A lot of us have known him for many years, uh, and it was great to have him on the show and make him part of the cast. So, anyways, uh, make sure to tune in. Hit us up on Discord. Links in the description below. Uh, you can live chat with us there, and uh, we're in there chatting about the newly revealed. Uh, uh, Walmart listings for the next wave of Netflix stuff that Christian had mentioned earlier. Um, so definitely hit us up on Discord and chat with us about it. And with that, we will end the show. So good night, everybody. Everyone have a lovely week. <laughs>